Winner's Legion back again. We are ready to go, guys. Today's going to be a great one. As always, you guys know what to do. You donkey punch that friggin' like button. You finger the subscribe button. Then what you do is you comment in the comment section and tell me what you guys think. And I want to get started right into it today because this one's a good one. Thank you guys for doing the polls, letting me know what you guys think, getting crazy. You guys know <laughs> I've been working out, I've been getting in shape. This is the Winner's Legion, guys. This is the place where we kick ass every day. We succeed all around the world. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I got like 100 new subscribers. Dude, it's crazy. It, just from one freaking... Guys, I didn't expect all this. Let's get going because today... I want to get into a good one. A lot of you guys like the Latinas, huh? Well, today is going to be introduction to traditional Latinas, spicy Mexicana edition. And that's because the little Mexicanas, Jesus, freaking, mm, I forgot my sunglasses again. I was at work all day, guys. You know how it goes. Tech company owner, extraordinaire, et cetera, et cetera. You guys can look up my bio, all that crap. But I pumped out a bunch of shorts. I did other stuff. Spicy Mexicana edition. Now, what do I mean by spicy Mexicana as well? Guess what? I live very close to Mexico. I'm in Los Angeles. And we get a lot of Latinas. Not only they come over here, but that I've met that I've gone over to Mexico and met. And Mexican women are quite incredible. To be honest, they're hard to beat. And I say that about all the traditional women, don't I? The Koreans, South Koreans. One of my guys just posted a comment the other day who he talked about how when he met a South Korean woman, she took him out to dinner. And he was out in Vancouver. He's out in Canada. The point is, when you deal with traditional women, guys, they are going to treat you like you've never been treated in your entire life, especially if you're watching this right now. I know a lot of you guys have never been treated well by Western women. And I've got a developer who is overseas in uh, India. He's got an Indian, Indian wife, and of course, she takes care of everything at the home. Guys, foreign women, traditional, are like nothing you've ever, ever experienced in your entire life. Now, some guys are going to go, oh, well, I got the desperate ones. They want a green card. Guys, again, most women love their country way more than coming to your country. Now, if they want to come to your country, that means that they've got problems in their own country. Because most women do not want to leave their own country. They don't. So you are dealing with some desperate, desperate women. Make no mistake. Most women don't want to leave their country. Oh, well, hey, look, if you're going to give me all the exceptions, I really don't give a shit. We're talking about Mexicanas today. When you go over to Mexico, Go to the safe parts, do your research, don't be crazy. When you meet Mexican women for the first time, when you get to interact with them, they are quite spectacular. They have incredible attitudes. Now, a lot of this stuff, you guys are gonna notice there's this reoccurring theme with traditional women, but it's true. They have these incredible attitudes. Now, I live here in LA, so I'm dealing with a lot of people that you know you're getting people from all different parts of the world right and that's perfectly perfectly normal whenever you go to the big cities Hong Kong when I was in England same thing right I'm in London and you've got all these people from all parts of the globe they want to come to these massive metropolises right well LA is no different we get people from all around the world that come here, traditional or not. And that was weird. Looking back in these people. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> you go you go to these major metropolitan areas, and now you've got an influx of foreigners who come here that want to experience our culture, right? And to their surprise, <laughs> you guys would be surprised, but a lot of them actually go back. The ones that have escaped to our country, they actually go back. Because they realize it's not as much, not, not as good, excuse me, as they thought. Especially America today. It's not the same as it used to be. So let's just go right back. It's crazy, guys. But uh, I digress. 
I want you to get I want you guys to know where they're coming from because to understand them and their culture is the best thing that you could do so when we talk about Mexicanas these women are they're right up there they're incredible they are should I go walk where the white people are piss them off a little bit I don't think they'll give a shit so when I talk about the Mexicanas they come over here they vacation they come here to hang out they come here to they don't really come here to party um, a lot of them are here on extended visas or student visas stuff like that uh, you'd be surprised but not as many illegals as you would think most of them just want to come here for the opportunities and and or they have families that are already here right or they have families back home that they're sending money to because they make more money here than they do uh, in their home country which is very very common it's very common a lot of people travel here make money here send the money back to their home country right it's perfectly normal a lot of the people from the Philippines do that um, women from the Philippines Filipina nurses they do this all the time and I didn't really get into it in the Filipinas edition but I want you guys to understand where they're coming from first before I really delve into their mentality because it's going to give you a much broader insight to what they're looking for you get what I'm saying and for you guys to make better decisions as well oh I'm gonna get one who just wants a green card no 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 guys those ones are very desperate and you should be able to sniff them out pretty quickly now if you're going after women that are this de desperate it says more about you than it does about them just being honest now maybe you're a young guy and you don't really know this stuff yet that's perfectly fine but desperate people in general steer clear of them because they're gonna do very bad things in your life because they have nothing to lose do you see what I'm saying so it's best to just steer clear of anybody with any des levels of desperation and I meet plenty of desperate desperate American women all the time desperate for a relationship desperate to get married it's the same thing guys so make no mistake they can all be desperate um, so when it comes down to the Mexicanas a lot of them who are coming here looking for the education opportunities they come from Mexico City Veracruz uh, what is it uh, the ones more towards San Diego though in the southern parts those are usually ones more from TJ Tijuana uh, you'll notice a lot more mixed um, women around closer to the border but anyway I'm not giving you a ge geography lesson I'm just letting you know where their mentality is at okay so Mexican women for those of you that have had the pleasure of dating them man excellent attitudes friendly happy especially when they're traditional friendly happy bubbly they're a little more playful than Colombian women I've noticed that Colombian women are a little bit more serious they're they're not as uh, they're not as playful Mexican women are a little more playful a little more teasing that's just the way they are they, these these subtle differences though are very important to them make no mistake if they're from Mexico they don't like being lumped in with they, they they're they're very proud of their heritage make no mistake just like you would so a lot of people are proud to be an American let me tell you something these girls are very proud of their heritage because so much goes into their lives so much nurturing so much caring their parents teach them so much that has been passed down from generation to generation to gen and this is where the American girls get really pissed because they can't compete American girls don't have lineage passed down from generation to generation to generation they don't have that do you see what I'm saying it's uh it's very challenging for the for the American girls to keep up because they don't have as women work best when they have something to pass down some sort of ideology just like similar to guys but more so they need that structure that foundation when they don't have it <laughs> I don't know what to tell you it's a mess it is an absolute clusterfuck and you could see it in American women I take no pleasure in it but that's just how it is so you guys have to understand that traditional Mexican Mexicanas 
these girls have a plethora. They have so much, they, they know so much and they really respect and adore their own cultures. <laughs> um, what was I getting into? Oh yeah, wrong button. <laughs> Pressing buttons all over this thing, man. I'm learning, I'm learning, take it easy. The little Mexicanas, I love them. The Latinas, the Latinas are feisty. They've got a little spice to them. They've got a little snap to them. Do not mistake that as them being disrespectful. They're just being a little playful. Now, of course, they're gonna want you to be t strong though. Don't be, don't be fooled guys, you can't be weak and pushovers with Mexicanas. They will not respect you. And when they don't respect you, they can never love you. Don't ever forget that. I'm wheezing on this hill. God. Anyway, Latinas. God. Jesus, guys. Ah. What was I talking about? These people just passed me by and I had to... Never mind. Mexicanas. The little Mexicanas. Incredible. Spicy. We talked about that. Their food that they make. Unreal. There's not a lot of cheese on it like you guys would think. A lot of Americans think that traditional Latinas, especially Mexicanas, make a lot of cheese stuff. They don't, guys. Their food is not heavy. That's more of an American thing. Women from traditional Mexican cities, they don't cook like that. It's very light on the cheese. Now, there may be a lot more spice, but they cook with fresh ingredients. Fresh, natural ingredients. Handmade tortillas. Oh, oh my God. Now, those could definitely fatten you up. But these girls are absolute beasts in the kitchen. Holy mackerel. A lot of these Latinas, traditional, Mexicana, they don't play around. If you love spicy food, if you love chiles, if you love anything that has to do with spice, you're going to love these chicks. Beans and rice comes with everything. Beans and rice comes with everything. It's a side dish. It's the mixtures of protein. Okay, that's just how they cook. It's incredible. Uh, well, depending on the region. Some are more seafood heavy. Mariscos, uh, I think that's how you see seafood. They're much more seafood heavy, okay? Um, also, they do a lot of lemon. A lot of lemon, tomatoes, unreal. Traditional Mexican food is, it's mind, it's so effing good. And traditional Latina, Mexicana will make this from scratch. Another thing about traditional Mexicanas, guys, once again, they don't care about how much money you make. I repeat, even from the big cities, even when you go to the big cities, Mexico City, etc., they don't care about that stuff. They couldn't care less about how much money you make. And the reason being is because they care more about your character. If you guys notice, I always talk about this in every video, that when you're dealing with traditional, you're dealing with someone who does not care about your monetary status. That's just how they are. That's how they, that's how they are, that's how they've been brought up. They're brought up with much more uh, values, if you will. So you're gonna notice this is a very common reoccurring theme when you guys go overseas, when you are traveling. You're gonna notice the traditional people care more about your character. They don't care about your status. They really don't give it. They, they don't give a rat's ass. They know that that's for people that are at the top, 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 upper echelon, and they're never going to be there. They've disabused themselves of that notion many, many years ago. So, if you've got a lot of status and power, if you start flashing that in these countries, you are going to be in for a very rude awakening. You're going to get stuff stolen from you because there's a lot more poor, poorer people in these countries. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to get robbed. If you dress normally like them, chill, chill, you know, bring down your crazy, you know, arrogance, you're going to fit right in. A lot of people think, oh, no, you can't go here. Look, they're definitely poorer in these areas. But you guys have to understand, even if you're white, that doesn't matter. Lots of Mexicans are actually fair skinned. Yeah. It's gonna be, you're gonna be scratching your head. If you guys go to Mexico, you go to the bigger cities, there are fair-skinned people there. It's not all brown. You see what I'm saying? You're actually gonna see women that are blonde hair, blue-eyed, that speak Spanish fluently, especially in Mexico. It's really bizarre, more so in Argentina. 
way more in Argentina and Costa Rica, but still, when I was in Mexico, I was going, what? Look at these white girls with huge breasts and big asses. I'm like, scratching my head going, this is insane. They're also incredibly friendly. Mexicanas, incredibly friendly. Very sweet, very polite, very kind. They laugh a lot. They're very bubbly. They love being feminine. You're going to notice they're very happy being in their feminine energy. You guys talk about that a lot. They're very happy being feminine. You don't have to hold masculine frame. You don't have to do that, guys. They're already in their feminine. They don't need that. They're structured. See, the dogs agree. Every video, the dog agrees. There he is. Look at him. What's up, doggy? <laughs> Every video, they believe that their family is the masculine frame. They've already been, you never, guys, you don't have to check these women. You don't have to check them. Oh, you better listen to me. You guys don't need to do that. Why are you trying to force American women to do this? Just go get yourself a little Mexicana. Just go get yourself a Mexicana. You don't have to deal. You go to Mexico and you will be greeted with smiles. Hi! Hola, senor! Hola, mamacita! <laughs> You're so silly! That's, dude, I'm telling you guys. Why do I always go down this main street? It gets all noisy and I raise my voice. I probably because I like yelling. <laughs> Mexicanas, friendly, polite, caring, ultra caring. Jesus wants a green card. How come every every goddamn video I there's such a bunch of haters, aren't they? I know you guys like foreign women. That's why you're here. Haters, <laughs> they're so mad that you are gonna be so happy with your little Latina. Man, Mexicanas are unreal. They are. Oh my god, so spectacular. They stay in shape. They say, I'm looking at these, lime, these limes on this lime tree. They stay in shape. Yeah. I'll never forget. Guys, you're not going to believe this. I was with a Mexicana straight from Mexico. She came to America because she was learning English. A lot of them come here. And she made me this delicious watermelon with like with little spices on it. You know what I'm saying? Sandia. And she was hot, man. Holy. She was ridiculous. She was like five foot three. 110, 115 pounds. Guys, they stay in shape. In incredible shape. They refuse to be fat. Oh, but there's so many fat Mexicans who come over here. Yeah, that's America, dummy. Traditional Mexicana doesn't do that. Unless that's what you want. There's plenty of gorditas over there. Little chubby girl. <laughs> I'm chubbies. But most of them stay in incredible shape. Not only that, they have unbelievable body. Guys, oh my God. Jesus, their bodies are ridiculous. So I get with this Colum or Colum oh my God. See, I'm all fucked up now. <laughs> I get with the Mexicana. She makes me the little watermelon thing. And I had sex with her. Afterwards, she started doing crunches. She's like, I gotta stay in shape. I was like, what? What is happening? This is like an alternate universe. This is, this is what? what? Are you hungry? Right afterwards, they're gonna plur. They're gonna be. <laughs> they're gonna pluralize a lot of things. As I always, I. They're very. They're very silly guys. They're very fun, playful. Don't have to fight with them. They do have tempers. They do have tempers. So watch out. Don't do anything crazy. <laughs> Don't piss them off for no reason. Okay. Don't. But you can still. <laughs> See, I'm so dangerous. I always push, I always push it too far. I always push it too far. <laughs> That's just me, guys. Don't do that. I always tease them and stuff. Great, incredible attitudes. Incredible physique. Physique. Unreal. All oh my. Guys, it'll put a tear in your eye. Look it up. I'm not going to put these pictures on here. You guys can look that stuff up. You guys are just getting educated right now. Their mentality is about the family. 150%. There is no, you know, individualist, whatever, independence. Mm -mm. It's family only, and that is it. There is nothing else. 
So they're gonna have a lot of crazy cousins, a lot of crazy uncles, aunts, you know. But once the family gets together, if you're good to them, if you don't have, if you're not a weirdo, they'll accept you right into the family. Whoops. And you guys will be very happy. <coughs> oh, it's a little KTM. It's a small bike. It's probably like a two 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 ninety cc. I can't remember. Anyway, Mexicanas. Very, very voluptuous. Holy cow. Perfect hourglass figures. Man, guys, when you get into the cities, I mean, and the way they dress, you're just, you're just like, you're just like, kind of like, like a zombie. You're just like, you start st kind of like, like, like a, like a, like Frankenstein <laughs> because their bodies are ridiculous. It's, it, 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 they just exude so much femininity and sexuality and everything oh my god long hair and they're so easy to approach so friendly and all they guys you have to understand in their country it is all about connection and that's one thing that the every time i bring that up the little american girls just shut down because they have no fucking response to that shit now do they they don't <laughs> they don't know what to say American girls can't compete. American girls want to disconnect from you Jesus. because because they've been trained to do that. Not Latinas, not Mexicanas. They want to create a connection. They do. They want to create a connection with you. They want to pair bond with you. You guys have to understand, you are so used to dicks, fucking hot dogs everywhere, sausages, every orifice. You guys are used to women that have been blown out right you go and you get yourself a mexicana you don't have these issues yeah they don't want 800 dicks in all their fucking holes they know that their chastity means something now a lot of them have had sex there's no doubt about it i'm no fucking stranger to this i get it but a lot of them if they're especially if they're traditional will preserve their virginity they will hold on to it Especially if they're not liberalized. If they're traditional, they're holding on to it. Now, will they have sex before marriage? Yes. I have not bought, brought that up in other videos, but a lot of these girls will. But they need to know that you're going to be with them. So, look guys. If you really want a girlfriend or wife, get a traditional one. If you just want to fuck them, guys, just get the liberalized ones. Oh. Don't ruin all the fucking traditional girls, man. It's kind of fucked up. Look, if you have... I'm not saying you need to have a heart. I'm not lecturing you. I'm just saying, what's the point? There's plenty, plenty of liberalized Mexicanas that you can get and just from anywhere in any parts of the globe. Excuse me, guys. What's the indigestion? And they are... They'll still cook for you. They'll still cook clean for you. They just don't want a relationship or you don't want a relationship. That's fine. But don't do that to the traditional girls. Leave them alone. <laughs> Just let them be. Because you can, you can, guys, I'm not, I've, I'm always going to be honest with you guys. You can very easily manipulate them. Because they're very naive. I know it's fucked up, but I've got to tell you guys, I can't lie to you guys and say, oh, you can't manipulate. Yes, you can. It is very easily, easy to manipulate uh, traditional women. D you can some of them are a little sharp, but most of them aren't going to get it. And I'd be remiss if I didn't say that they, you know, you could you could technically get them and bang them and toss them to the side. But if you do it, all you're doing is just creating more bitter, angry bitches. Now, if she's a liberal woman and she loves having dicks in all her holes, hey, have at it. You can find plenty of kind of liberal uh, but they got some conservatism they'll cook for you and you'll find guys you can find tons of those I'm talking strictly about the traditional ones strictly traditional they all kind of are they're all on the spectrum I'm not gonna lie but if we're going to get down to it that because look guys if we bring in the shades in the areas of gray we're gonna be talking about all four types of women for eight hours you get what I mean there's, there's always up, there's always somewhere on the spectrum that they lie. 
Like, maybe they're a traditional girl, but they only had one dick before you. You see what I'm saying? It's like, do we really want to talk about the gray area? Who gives a fuck? And isn't SoCal beautiful, guys? Oh, he's selling us on SoCal. It's beautiful out. As you can see, palm trees everywhere. Guys, I know this is bizarre to you. You guys may be like, is this SoCal? This fucking looks like some other... No, this is Southern California, baby. It's a very... It, it's, it's a very quirky part of the world. It's very bizarre. Now, why am I bringing this up? Because a lot of Mexicanos come here. Because they are from the south. In L.A., we can drive to the mountains and go to the snow. It's about an hour and a half drive and then go to the beach. Same day. It's gonna. It's like... It's confusing. People are like, what? Yes. L.A. has mass, uh, these massive mountains. San Bernardino Mountains. Uh, Lake Arrowhead. Big Bay. It's, it's weird. Very strange, eclectic... Then you can go up north to the Redwood Forest. It's it's so... Yeah. LA's bizarre, man. It's, it's very strange. If you guys ever come here. <laughs> so anyway, Mexicanas. Incredible bodies. Oh, man. Oh! Mexicanas. When you go out with them are just a different breed. Right? They're always... Man, it is beautiful out today. Holy cow, guys. It is spectacular. Check that out. Check that out. Man. Okay, I'm going to go to the beach just for you guys. I always go to the beach for you guys. Who wants to look at this mug every day? Oh. <laughs> so, you go out with the Mexicanas. Ultra gentle. Ultra feminine. Ultra happy. Ultra bubbly. They love their families. Don't be disrespecting those families. Ultra, ultra loving nurturing unbelievable amounts of sweetness uh, you're going to be blown away guys you're going to be very 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 happy don't cross them because they'll try to stab you though okay these girls are very temperamental they love hard as they say okay they're very 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 yeah so if they've been burned and they're bitter just get rid of them. just don't even go the traditional ones though holy cow you go to a small mexican village you pluck one of those out man guys you you you'll ne you'll never you'll never go back the crazy thing about all these traditional women especially mexicanas you never have to lift a finger you're at home you're chilling you're hanging out oh you want a cerveza they bring you a beer oh you want some tortillas you want this you want dude it's it's they just want you to be good to them. They just want you to be good to them. Every time I bring this up, the American girls get furious because they know it's true and they know they can't compete. And then they get pissed off and then of course they say, it's always a shaming tactic because see, American women are always gonna try to shame you guys into being with them, always. That's how pathetic they are. It's, it's, it's sad, isn't it? They have to shame the little traditional women in order for you to be with them. Because they know I'm right. And the reason why I bring this up is when you go out with the little Mexicanas and you, you're just like this and she's holding your arm and she's got long hair down to her ass and she could barely speak English and then she's in, in, in incredible shape and loving and happy. Oh man! American girls get so pissed. <laughs> and I love it. I love it, man. I love rubbing it in. I just, <laughs> I'm a sick fuck. I'm, I'm twisted. I, I just like that. So when I see a Amer American girl and I've got the little left, you know, Mexicana, and she's like, "Why are they being so mean? Why are they so angry?" I'm like, "This is what I tried to tell you." But they, they, they never, Me the Mexicanas, they go, they're, they're always confused. They never understand American girl mentality, and that's when you know you got a good. One. They're like, why are they so mad? And I'm like, because they're pissed that you're taking their men. And they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. But, you know, <laughs> oh, it's fucked up, isn't it? But it's so much fun. Oh, I love rubbing it in. It's just, ah, oh, it's the best. They get to, they look at you like this. They're like, oh, that mother damn. Oh, hi. Oh, you guys look so cute. <laughs> they get so pissed. Uh, um, another thing about Mexicanas, <sighs> very passionate, 
very good in bed. Oh yes. Oh yes. They are down. They're down for a lot of fun stuff. If you're kinky, you're probably going to able, be able to uh, show them a trick or two. Even the traditional ones, man, they've been holding in all this passion for years. And now they get to let it out on your ass. Remember, guys, a lot of them are naive. A lot of them are innocent. But they know that men need what they need. Period. Another strange thing, but interesting, is they definitely understand the idea of mistresses. Which is very taboo in America. You're not supposed to do that. One person forever. Not necessarily so with traditional. Traditional, especially traditional Chinese, traditional Japanese. They understand. They understand men have needs. They understand that that you're out of the country. Just don't tell me about it. I don't want to know. You do what you got to do. I'm telling you guys, you're going to be blown away. Why would you ever go American ever again? Why? Ever. Ever, ever, ever. You won't. You're going to be like, what were those American girls' names again? You're not going to care, guys. And that's what almost the vast majority of guys that you're going to meet are going to say this exact same thing. Just being real with you. Never have to lift a finger. Gentle, affectionate, happy. Um, As soon as you get home, the house is already cleaned. They're big time on the cleanliness of the homes. Big time. The home is their sanctuary. It's the place that they keep organized. They're going to fold your socks. I I didn't talk about this, guys, but all... (laughs) Traditional women take care of the household. If the household is out of whack, they get whacked by their parents. Their parents would be furious because their parents teach them how to be good women, whether or not they're educated, highly educated or not. The irony is most of them are highly educated. They go to school. The the most stereotypical, you know, sexist thing that... American women bring up is that they're all from poor countries, they're all looking for a green card, all this nonsense. No. No. In fact, it's kind of sad, but normally the foreign women, especially Mexicanas, are actually more highly educated than the actual American women. They can speak two languages, two languages usually fluently, they usually have a higher education, and they usually are much harder workers. Sorry, American girls. American girls get so pissed when I bring the... I should have started doing these vlogs years ago so you guys would know what's going on. I'm pissed. See, I had to yell. I had to yell in this video. (laughs) The little Mexicanas are spectacular. They have incredible bodies, incredible attitudes, cook clean. The cleanliness of your home is going to rise substantially they do like to dance they're very into dancing they're very much into uh, celebration quinceaneras stuff like that they're into the family they love family events they're big believers believers in passing down their knowledge from generation to generation if you guys aren't family oriented they're not for you guys it's traditional women in general They're just not for you because traditional women believe in tradition. Creating tradition. You see what I'm saying? But they do understand that you need your space. They understand that you don't need to be around them 24-7. That's another massive difference of traditional versus liberal women. Liberal women cannot leave you. And the reason being is because they know as soon as they leave you, you're going to leave. That's the real sick truth. Now, I know this has been highly debated. Well... You know, traditional women make guard and all this. Let's just put it this way. Once you are with a traditional woman, they're not going to make guard with you. They're not going to make guard you guys. I know, look, I've heard a lot of Red Pill content creators talk about this. Uh, even my one of my favorites, Co- Coach Greg Adams. Love you to death. Coach Greg, love you, dude. Uh, we've met. Really cool guy. We're doing business. But one thing he does get wrong is that they're going to make guard more. The traditional women are going to do this. You couldn't be further from the truth. They do not make guard. They only make guard when you are not with them, meaning you're not in a relationship. The reason that they make guard is because they want to snag you. Of course, as every woman does, this is very true. 
But the difference being when you're with a traditional woman and you are in a relationship, there's, that's the end of it. There is no, oh, now we got to buy a house. Now we got to do this. Now we got to do that. They're not, it's not the same, guys, because they're not hypergamous. That's, they just want a good man. They want to be a good wife and have a great family. That's it. There is no bait and switch later on and all this. If you are in their home country, why am I not running across the street? I'm standing here like a fucking jackass. I could have made it like 10 times. So they're not waiting for all these things to happen. Now, maybe Coach Greg in that episode was talking more about if you're here with me or, you know, about American girls. Why am I not running? I'm going to run across the street and say, a bunch of cars go back. But the bottom line is the mate guarding happens before you get into a relationship. And that's for any woman, if you really think about it. The mate guarding happens especially when they want you really, really, really badly, right? But every foreign woman I've ever been in a relationship with, the thing that they want, kids, husband, be a good wife. Those are the things that they want. That's it. There is no, the, there is no talks about, you know, your money and all the, your status. They don't care. And especially if you do this in their country, they're going to be very, very happy. Now, I know a lot of you guys don't want to move, but some of you guys are fed up and you're like, I'm moving. I'm one of those guys. Had enough. Love America. Don't get me wrong, but I know exactly where I'm going. You see what I mean? So the best thing that you could do is get very, very accustomed. Accustomed to their country. Understanding the culture. Understanding the processes, understanding how things work over there. If you love Mexican, if you love Hispanic women, Mexican women are unbelievable. They are absolutely surreal. What they'll do is they'll they'll call you in the middle of the day, make sure you've eaten. Just like all the other traditional women, they call you to make sure you've eaten. They're like, oh, did you eat yet? You know, they're always they're always on top of things. I've noticed that about foreign women in general, but definitely Mexicanas. They're on top of things. They are prepared, organized, on top of things. They already know what's going to happen before it happens. This is traditional women, guys. They're not lazy like American women in the way you would think. American women and women are taking me out to eat. Oh, oh, where are we going? Or, you know... You, you know, it's the middle of the day. You haven't eaten yet. They, they never call you. They don't give a shit. They don't care. It's a very different mindset, guys. You have to understand. Mexicanas, they're going to make sure you have your food prepared, especially if you're in a relationship, guys. They're going to make sure that your food is prepared, that it's in your hand, that you are already fed. They're going to make sure that you can get to decompress, especially if you had a hard day. You see what I'm saying? It's a completely different mindset. If you had a hard day, they aren't going to try to stress you out with a bunch of stuff. What the fuck? They're not going to try to stress you out with a bunch of crap that happened in their day. That's another huge thing that I have not mentioned to you guys. When you're dealing with traditional, you are dealing with somebody who does not want to be a burden. They just want you to chill. They want you to calm down. They want you to relax. They want you to hang out, have the beer like I talked to you about. But a lot of times they're going to say things like, oh, did you have a hard day? Was your day, did you have a long day? Were you stressed out? Then the massages start coming. Mm -hmm. I bet you didn't think of that now, did you? I bet you didn't. The massages start coming. And then you just start relaxing. Everything is okay. You are de-stressing. You are calming down. They are not here to be a burden on you. The biggest difference between American women and foreign women is the American women ask, what can you do for me? And the foreign women say, hey, what can we do and what can I do for you? That's the biggest difference. And it just snapped into my head just now. I was like, they don't ask you, what can you do? And by the way, you're going to feel, you're going to feel like, dang, she does so much for me. Shit, I better... You actually feel bad for a minute because you're like... 
they're they're always doing stuff for me. I you know I don't even I barely do anything for that her, but I'm telling you guys they don't require much in terms of you just being a good person, and, which makes it even would look it makes it even that much better because if you do take them out and if you do treat them well they appreciate it. They appreciate it, guys. It's very different. They appreciate the little things that you do. See? Oh, the dog came right up. He agrees. They appreciate the little things that you do. And if you do big things, oh my God, they'll go crazy. It's a different mindset. It is a different way of life. There is a synergistic bond here. We're dealing with somebody who cares. A lot of you are a lot of you guys aren't used to this. A lot of you guys think, oh, you know. I just got to do everything for her. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> the American girls. Like, ah, I hate it. They get so. <laughs> oh man. See when you're see here's the thing that you guys don't understand also is when <laughs> when I'm out with the Mexicanas, the American girls get so furious, and then as soon as she leaves, the American girl comes over and goes, "Hey, you know." Uh, they start to try to like flirt with you. <laughs> and the American girl, the Latina comes, you know, Mexicana comes back and she's like, she's like, what is this fucking white bitch? <laughs> uh, it's funny. But yeah, Mexicanas can get very jealous, guys. A lot like the Filipinas. I did not go over that in my last video. There's, guys, I could do hours of this stuff on the little behaviors that are slightly different. White guavas. White guavas. I showed you guys those before. Wait, I need to smell the flower. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just... Ooh, that smells good. That smells good. So, rem remember, Mexicana. Spicy, a little more playful than the Colombianas. We'll get into Colombian women later. Oh my... Oh! Oh! Colombian women. Holy... But I'm just being real, guys. I, if I'm going to do it, I'm moving to their country. And I suggest you do as well. You can bring them to America, but I do not recommend this. Do not recommend. Do not bring them here to become spoiled American bitches. Especially if they're desperate to move here. No. No. I will not rubber stamp that. No, man. I don't want to move to Mexico. It's shit. Oh, that's actually really nice. Certain areas are unbelievably beautiful. Actually, more beautiful than California. And your dollar goes a lot longer there, a lot further. Just stay out of the, out of the cartel regions. Why is this? Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. <sighs> but yeah, Mexicanas, ridiculous. Um, another thing. Let's see, hygiene. Did I go over hygiene? Did I go over hygiene? Hygiene is very good. Very good. A lot like the, uh, the Chinese. Very, very similar. Great hy hygiene. There's a dad with his kid. That's always a good sign. Families. Their hygiene's incredible. Um, yeah, they stay in shape. They just got good attitudes, guys. They stay in good health. They're very simple. That's one thing I did not go over. Whenever you're dealing with traditional foreign, Mexicanas, all the above, they keep their lives as simple as possible. They don't believe in a lot of complications. They don't believe in it's complicated. There is no it's complicated. They believe in simplicity. They believe that complications are actually the root of all evil. If you live a very, very complicated life, you're going to be very stressed all the time. And they're 100% right. I'm serious, guys. These are the beliefs that are almost universal to foreign born women and especially Mexicanas they want to keep a simple life they don't need a bunch of complications um, it's unbelievable but I've dated liberal Latinas I've dated freaking conservative I've dated traditional non-traditional the whole all all across the spectrum but they are quite interesting very very good attitudes some of the best attitudes you'll ever meet in your life uh, but yeah, very spicy food. Watch out for that. They'll make it to your liking. 
they'll be fooled. They'll make, they'll, 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 they'll cuss. They'll always ask you, oh, do you want it spicy? Do you want it less spicy? Um, a lot of chopped vegetables. A lot of, um, I wouldn't say it's necessarily meat heavy as much as Colombian food. But yeah, definitely watch out for all the freaking ton of spice. But they do put a lot of citrus. So that way your stomach's good. You know what I mean? And yeah, unbelievable though. They, they cook everything very, very well. Incredible cooks. Lots of onions, if you love onions. Uh, pico de gallo, lots of cilantro. A lot of that stuff. Lemon flavor. A lot of lemon. Delicious. Uh, they marinate things for, for a good long period of time. Meat is usually marinated. Um, they don't use a ton of like as much dairy as you would think but they do use queso queso fresco if I'm not mistaken Ch that type of cheese it's oh my god guys it is ridiculous it is so effing good oh man oh my god yeah it's that good <laughs> you have if you haven't had it you have to have it you have to you have to and they will make you this stuff from scratch. They do not play around, guys. There's no like, oh, you know, we need to go out to eat. It's always like a demand. They're not demanding. They're not demanding. They just want you to be a good guy. That's it. They don't ask for much. They want to be as small of a burden on you as possible. Does that make sense? They don't want to be a burden on you because they don't want you to go away. They don't want you to leave. Do you see what I'm saying? They want you to have an enjoyable experience. They want this to be something that isn't a constant battle. A lot of these foreign traditional women do not believe in fighting all the time. They understand there's going to be conflict. They get it. We all do. But they don't believe and constantly bitching and complaining. They get might get mad about something for like a day and they start potting them like, oh, whatever's. They'll get a little mad. But the next but the next morning it's gonna be like, did you eat? They they're not going to they don't hold grudges, is what I'm saying. They get over these things. Because they want to keep the relationship going. Do you see what I'm saying, guys? is getting through to you. There is none of this independence bullshit. No. The family is king. And in that regard, they are correct. They're on the money. You cannot build a society without families. You can't. Sorry, little American uh, liberal women. Oh, you just hate women! No, I don't like you! <laughs> oh, I hate this guy! I hate this guy! Well, fine! Well, you fuck... Then, it, you know what they do? It's so funny, the American girls get so mad. They go, well, you're gonna fuck up her life. How am I gonna fuck up her life? <laughs> they're just... They, they cannot admit defeat. They cannot admit that they're wrong, and that's okay. That's why I like rubbing it in. That's why it's so entertaining for me. <laughs> you got your little, you got your little Latina right there. She's like, okay, misters, let's go. Ah. You know what I mean? Oh, see, it's always some jackass wants to jump on YouTube. <laughs> they don't know what to. You know what's funny? Whenever they scream out in my videos, they never know what to say. It's like, oh, <coughs> it's funny, guys. So, little Latinas, they're on your arm. She's right there. She's holding on to you. They see the American girls, American girls get bad. But just let your little Latina know, let your Mexicana know. It's okay. They're just jealous, unfortunately. They're always gonna hate you. And that's another reason why you gotta go to their country, country guys. You just gotta do it. You just, there's no other, there's no other way around it. You're not going to get around uh, you know, well, I could sign a prenup. No, guys. <sighs> Women do not like being out of their country. And if they do like being here and they do want to be here, they're probably more liberal than you think. You see what I'm saying? So, 
they're not all looking for a green card. They're not all trying to get out of it. It's actually a very small percentage. Most of them want to stay in their country. And the cool thing is you're going to have a massive, massive advantage if you are an outsider, if you, um, if you adapt to their customs, right? If you've got a good attitude about their customs, they're going to be pretty happy about that. And you guys are going to have a good old time. They're not going anywhere. They will treat you like a king, a 100% king. And that doesn't change, guys. It's not a bait and switch type thing that they, it's ingrained in their mind. Especially if you, if you appreciate them, they're not going anywhere, guys. If you appreciate what they're doing, and it's gonna be unbelievable. That's really all they care about. So if you notice, there's a lot of similarities between all traditional women, the Chinese women, the freaking Filipinas, the Koreans, the Mexicans. They don't even know that. But a lot of these, but a lot of these uh, traditions, they all overlap. All of them. And that's why I always say, you don't need to deal with all this, all this American anger. You don't need to deal with all these headaches. What a waste of time. And the bitchiness and the mouthiness, the tantrums. You know, and here's the other one. I love this one. You know, they go, oh, you know, who are you dating? You know, they, it's always the shaming tactics because they know that this stuff happens. They just never want to admit that it does. Which way should I go? You know what? I'll go downhill. They don't want to admit that they do this and they don't want you to catch on and they don't want you to leave because misery loves company. <laughs> oh. But yeah, what else? Let's see, hygiene, et cetera, et cetera. Um, other, other little things that you guys might find interesting, uh, much more country oriented. Um, they, they listen to music that's obviously a lot different than we do, just in general. But most of these traditional countries that I've mentioned, they do idolize American culture to a certain extent. They do take elements of our culture and infuse it into theirs. But they are about tradition. Tradition rules over all. And traditional Mexican women are very into the patriarchy. They don't see any reason for you to be like them. They do not want you to clean the house. They don't want you cooking. They don't want you doing any of that stuff. They find it almost offensive because they like to show off their skills. You guys have to, guys, it's a completely different mindset. They like to show off their skills. They want to show you that they are great women. This is a very big depart. Do you see how much time I take with the mentality? I, I know I know a lot of you guys want me to tell you, oh, this is how you approach them and all this. I'll definitely get into the approaching, but I'd rather you understand the mentality first because then your approach is going to be much smoother. Your approach is going to be much more... You, you're going to get it. If you don't get these traditional women, nothing you say is going to get them to where you want to be. And by the way, approaching them is not that difficult. It's not like rocket science. You don't need to, oh, come up. Oh, look. Hey, what's up, baby? Yeah, yeah. You know, what are you up to? Yo, you know, acting like a jackass. You don't need to do that, guys. The approach is smooth. Hola. <laughs> Hola. You know, I thought you, you know, I thought you looked very pretty today. Uh, it's, it's, it's so, it's like ridiculously simple. I thought you looked pretty today. How would you like to exchange numbers or, you know, go out for coffee sometime? Something, I'm telling you guys, something that cheesy. They will be so happy that you, that you did this, that you took the effort, that you took the time. They're very appreciative. They're, they're blown away. I'm from America, but I love Mexican women. I think they're great people. Guys, they're not going to get offended by this. <gasps> you love you 
you love Mexican? They're going to be blown away. Remember, a lot of them stay within their culture. They're not used to foreign men being nice to them, being... They're, it's just, it's very different. Understanding their mentality first is more important than approaching them randomly. You will be... But guys, it's going to be much easier. Than, it's going to be a much smoother process than you think. You don't need to be cheesy. If you approach a foreign woman, they're going to think you have the biggest balls in the universe. They literally will take their attention, their attentions this way, and they will literally go, like right into you, like, every foreign woman I've ever approached in my life literally almost had a heart attack. Every time. They just go, they, they cannot believe that you had the stones to even act, say anything to them. Their, their mouth just drops. Now, why is that? Because they usually keep to themselves. They're usually... And of course, it depends on the country. Don't get me wrong. Mexicanas, but if you approach them, if they don't like you, you will know. If they don't want anything to do with you, they it's very clear. There are no mixed signals. I'm, gonna, I'm telling you guys, I'm going to do a whole approach edition. I promise. Approaching these specific women in these countries, how you do it, how you get it done. I'm going to wake up my neighbors. See, I get crazy, dude. I get crazy. I start screaming. Oh, you psycho fuck. Guys, don't worry. I'm going to teach you how to approach. I know I always say it all the time. Don't approach American women. Yes, but foreign women are complete. Okay, here's an example. I was uh, working out 24 hour fitness back when I actually worked at 24 hour fitness and I did work for them and I approached look at this beautiful god damn it's nice out I wish you guys could see this I approached a little Japanese girl 4 foot 10 she ended up being my girlfriend I approached her on the workout equipment I don't know what I said I said something like oh how are you how are you doing she just went huh she was paralyzed her mouth just her jaw dropped she couldn't believe and I said hi how are you doing I was just very polite and she just, the whole time. And I said, how would you like to, you know, possibly go out sometime? Yes. She was, when we talked on the phone after that, she said, I was so shocked that you approached me. Nobody approaches anybody in Japan. Nobody. Because it's seen as like extraordinarily forward. Let's just put it that way. She could not believe it. Now, <laughs> you sick fucks. <laughs> that are still watching <laughs> she told me something very important she said if you ask a girl <laughs> they can't say no in Japan <laughs> she's like don't use that to advantage <laughs> maybe I will maybe I won't but the point is guys if you approach a foreign woman in her country and you are respectful you're polite you're normal and you're calm you, you could even be a nice guy if you're a nice guy and you're just more reserved and you're a little more nervous and you have a little bit more insecurities watch my insecurities videos that's okay you can shit I should go down left or right left or right left or right I want you guys to see this beautiful sunset and I need some light and you approach her in her country she is just going to melt She's going to melt. And not only that, if you're an outsider, you can get away with more. Even if you're a nerdy guy, even if you're a dork, watch my insecurities videos. Even if you're a very shy guy, they will be blown away. Your confidence is going to go through the roof. You see what I'm saying? If you approach an American girl, your chances of closing are very, very low. The reason being is because they send a lot of mixed signals. This is how they're raised, to toy with you, to get your attention. Mexican women don't do this. Jesus, what the fuck, bitch? Fucking crazy. So, that bitch was going fast with her daughter. It's child abuse. Anyway, you go up in Mexico, you approach a Mexican woman. They are going to make it very clear if they, they, if they don't want anything to do with you, they are going to look the, other, the exact opposite direction. 
They will not send you mixed signals. They are very straightforward. Do you see what I'm saying? If they are into you, if they are attracted to you, they will stare at you like you're a piece of carne asada. They'll keep staring like this. Just like lasers. They're cutting through you. Staring in Mexico is a sign of respect. I bet you guys didn't know that. Staring is a sign of respect. I know, it's crazy because staring in America is considered rude. These types of cultural differences, guys, you have to understand these before you do your thing. If she's staring at you, guys, it's very different. If she's smiling at you, it's not a mixed signal. It's not a game. Do you see why it's so important to get away from the American women? Do you see why the American women are ruining your self-esteem? American women are ruining your self-esteem and making you depressed and sad. Because this is what they do. Mexicana women do not do this in Mexico. Traditional. They don't do this. Now, right now, you guys are going, bullshit. Try it. Test it out. Prove me wrong, dummy. Traditional Mexicana. They want to know what you're all about. They look at you and they see a man. That's what they see. When you approach them and you say, hola, como esta? They're like, oh, they're like, damn. And especially if they stop and talk to you and are smiling at you, they are very, 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 very interested. They want to get to know you. It's very different from America. Especially cold approach. Yes, you heard it from me. Cold approach is completely different. Completely different overseas. You have a much better shot. A way much better shot. Oh, man. It's, it's different, guys. I'm dead serious. You don't... Do not use the jackass method of running game. What's up, baby? What's going on? Blah, blah, blah. Don't do that. Do not do that. Stop doing that stuff. Turn it off. It doesn't work. She's going to go... She's going to go, okay, baby. She's going to get... She's going to be confused. You don't need to be... And by the way, if you start doing that playful shit and she does go for it, that means she's really liberalized and she's going to try to play you. When you guys use that stupid ass game tactic, guess what? Now she starts playing games. She's going to follow your lead. Just be direct. Just be cool with them, all right? You don't need to run. You guys don't need to do that stuff. A lot of you guys make that mistake as soon as... Oh, I'm going to go over there. I'm going to run some... Guys, do not do that. You look like an idiot. And by the way, you look. You make other Americans look stupid too. You're going to know that they like you. They will... Sh- it, they're going to make it very clear. <laughs> oh, mi amor. Er, you know, so muy hermo- hermoso. They're going to... They're gonna, guys, they're going to be all over you. If they're interested in you. Mexicanas don't play around. These girls do not waste time. I learned this at a very young age. They, if you approach them and they want nothing to do with you, this is this is them. This is them. They will walk the opposite direction away from you. Do you see what I'm saying? They're very direct. They don't want anything to do with a guy that they're not attracted to. Zero. That's why I'm spending this extra time with you guys. I don't want you guys going off there and being retarded. All right? <laughs> this is bonus content for you. I want you guys to know it's, it, this, isn't, this isn't rocket science. But I'll do a whole uh, approach edition later. I'll do all that stuff later. This is, I just want you to understand the mentality first. Get used to it. That way you go, oh, okay. I don't have to not be myself. This is the best part about all foreign traditional. You can be yourself, and they will accept you as you are. Period. End of story. I don't want to hear it. Oh, but I'm a nerd. Oh, I got a tiny penis. It doesn't matter. They don't care. They don't care. Do you guys get it? They don't care. They want a guy with a good attitude. Happy. A guy who's just going to be there for them. Just don't beat the shit out of them. That's all I care. That's literally like, (laughs) the bar is set pretty low. 
They just don't want you to beat the shit. <laughs> They're very guys. Mexicanas, they are taught. Man, they're so good. God, I gotta go back. I gotta go back to Mexico now. I'm going crazy. I'm like, maybe I should go back to Mexico. Yeah, get the scruff. They love scruffiness. They love. They just. They're just. Man, they're. they're oh my. They love it when you're a guy. They love that, guys. If you get scruffy, they love that. They don't care if you're short or tall. They don't, guys, they don't give a shit about any of these things. None of these things matter. All the things that you think matter, all the things that, oh, I want a guy who's six foot (laughs) ten. And by the way, that's bullshit. That's only online, guys. I'm six feet tall. I get plenty of women after me all the fucking time. And even then, that's just bullshit. In person, it, American girls say that shit, but they, they're so full of shit. You can still get American girls. But I, look, I don't want to get into the gray area, guys. Do you really want to deal with the bit? I know you. some of you guys just love the bitchiness, don't you? You really do. You love the... <laughs> you, some of you guys love that bit. Ah, you, you think you're cool with your fucking tiny... Ca- Wait, aren't you coming yet? You know... Some of you guys really, really enjoy that, don't you? <laughs> it, it never starts that way, but it it progresses that way. <laughs> Mexicanas. Oh, my Lord. Man. And by the way, one other thing about Mexican women, they have some of the most incredible asses you will ever see in your entire... Guys, you are going to want to bite that. It's so juicy. I don't know what how, what they feed them over there, but I'm telling you, dude. Unreal. Long hair. Passionate. So, oh my God. Latinas are spectacular. You know what's really funny is I do all these videos. I do all these vlogs down here in SoCal with, like, the tall white girls in, in the South Bay. They're nice. They're re- Guys... I, look, I know I talk a lot of shit about them, but they're nice. They're friendly to me. <laughs> they're friendly, but once you start going down the path of relationship, then the bitchiness starts. Once you start getting into the, you know, we're flirting, oh, now it's like, well, well, okay, well, what are we going to go do? You know, they start to, if you do it in per, if you approach in person, it's very different. Maybe one day we'll do approach in person, but... Guys, get off the fucking dating apps, please. Just stay off the fucking dating apps. That shit ruins your... It ruins your self-esteem. It ruins everything. And by the way, I used to be on the dating apps all the fucking time. It ruins your life. It does. It's very addicting. But it ruins your life. It really does. Because it's depressing. You're swiping on, you know, mastodons and they're not even giving you the time of day. Which way should I go? Straight? Ah, oh, fuck it, I'll go straight. The Mexicanas. Spicy. Silly. Bouncy. Bubbly. Playful. They like to... They, they, they're just playful. Oh, man. some Guys, when you're having sex with them, they're going to dig their nails into your back. Man, I'm telling you guys, they are passionate. They are crazy. And they are horny. Mexican is man I'm telling you horny wild there's a reason why they 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 reproduce like fucking jackrabbits man these girls are crazy they want to fuck all the time yeah the mate guarding thing is only for when you guys are a couple the mate guarding it's very different in their guys they they're very different. They're not as territorial as you may think. Mate guarding is when they kind of, you know, they're all over you and they don't want you. It's not that way, gentlemen. That would be more common in like Thailand or the Philippines, uh, China, uh, China, a little bit because they're more jealous in the Philippines. But to be honest with you, once you're with them, it's it's very different. It's very different. So I want you guys to understand you're not going to be dealing with a Latina who's freaking, you know, chasing you around all the time. That's not how it goes. As you guys can see, I have decades of experience 
with traditional form in decades. Why aren't you with one, huh? I'm getting there, Uncle Fucker. I'm going to move, most likely, to South Korea after all my businesses are set up. Everything's good to go. I already told all my employees. I said, I'm out of here. They know. They're like... Paul's gone, man. He, he's out. He's, he's going to the fucking Philippines. Sorry for the noise, guys. The Mexicanas are superior. Superior body... Oh, I forgot. Height. Usually, uh, average height, if I'm not mistaken, 5'3"-ish uh, in their country. Definitely curvier. They're not skinny like Chinese women. Now, there definitely are thin Mexicanas. But not nearly, not even close to like Asia. Not even close. Definitely on the curvier side. All right? You'll be happy to know. How's it going? So, what you want to do is, is if you want a thinner one, I mean, they definitely, there's ones that work out that exercise and this and that. Uh, exercise, I don't know if it's as common in all out throughout, throughout Mexico, but they do definitely do everything by hand. So they definitely have to put in more effort, right? They're much more physically active in that regard. Cooking, cleaning, staying on top of those types of things. Another thing, if you are into, where am I going? I'm going to go around. I don't want to d bother everybody in this neighborhood. Definitely, if you are into bigger breasts, get yourself a Mexican woman. Massive titties everywhere. Look at my eyes, guys. Look at my fucking eyes. Big titties. Every... Jesus. I almost couldn't snap out of it. Big asses, juicy titties, everywhere. Everywhere. Once again, guys, don't run game. Do not run game. Okay? Don't do it. Fucking pick up artists. Get Jesus, man. Those guys are so annoying. Oh, you just can't do it, man. Guys, I've done that before. It's a waste of motherfucking time. If a girl wants you, you don't have to do all that shit. Foreign or not. Game artist. Jesus Christ, that shit pisses me off. It's so annoying because it just screws up everything. Guys, there's plenty of pussy to go around. You'll get some. Even if you're a virgin, you don't need to do that stuff. You do not need to do that stuff. It's not necessary. Get yourself a little sugar baby. Save up a couple hundred bucks. Get yourself a sugar baby. You don't have to go through any of that shit. Oh, but it's the principle. Guys, are you a fucking retard? Why would you spend your time, hours and hours and hours, trying to pick up one fucking woman that doesn't make any sense? Is your time worth nothing? Then you have to take her on a date. Then you have to source. Then you have... You're wasting valuable time. This is the time where ass is the cheapest it has ever been in, in, in history. I can jump on a Sugar Daddy app right now and literally bloop, bloop, just pluck, pluck one right out of... It, it's like ridiculous. Yeah, you don't have to do all that stuff. You don't have to do all that. They're selling it all the way from 18 to their 50s. They're selling it. You don't have to do all that stuff. <laughs> it's that simple. I've got a sugar baby who wants to come over this weekend. I said, no, I'm busy. They're going to knock. They're going to kick down your effing door. For the price of a date, you could close the deal. You have a nice night. <laughs> have a nice night. Bye. Thanks for coming over. See ya. What are you doing, freaking? Anyway, sorry guys. <laughs> I had. To... <sighs> All right, it's been a long day. Mexicanas. <laughs> I'm talking about fucking sugar babies. There's plenty of sugar baby Mexicanas. Holy mackerel! Not necessarily traditional. Maybe. If you're ready to uh, buy a bit, they're ready to sell a bit. You know what I mean? 
I'm telling you guys, this is the time. This is the time to get yourself a nice traditional Mexicana. Cooks, cleans, happy, doesn't need any white bitches in her life who are angry. And by the way, if you want a white, blonde haired, blue eyed woman, you can get one in fucking Mexico. Yeah, it's gonna blow your mind. In fact, gentlemen, I just looked it up just now, just for you naysayers. 50, uh, Mexicans are 50 to 60% European in descent. Booyah! So you will get blonde hair and blue eyed Mexicans. You guys think I'm crazy. There is nothing hotter than seeing a white Mexican Latina. You're gonna be like, cause she's speaking Spanish. She's got, dude, it's like the most exotic thing. You guys are gonna shit your pants. You're gonna be confused. And she's gonna be traditional. You're gonna be blinking like you got cataracts. You're gonna be like, what? What, what is happening? Oh, mi amor. And she's got like the most porcelain skin you've ever seen. Guys, it, it, it's, Mexico is freaking incredible. I should run across the street now. Mexico is, it is a very strange place because it's full of, it's a poor country. Is this motherfucker gonna go or not? It's a poor country full of all these contradictions. You got the, some of the hottest women you've ever seen in your entire life with some of the great, best food, but it's poor and not necessarily, it's, it's not run down. It's just certain areas are definitely rough, but it's definitely got a rich history and Aztec temples and you guys got to go. It's unreal. Stay in the safe areas. Make no mistake. And learn the law first. Don't be going around saying disparaging thing about, things about Mexico, man. They'll fuck you up. Huh. Mexican Latinas. Oh. I think I've gone on and on all about them. I'll, I'll, let, I'll leave you with this, guys. It's gonna be, you're gonna be hard pressed to find a happier woman in your entire life than a traditional Mexican woman, ever. Happy, not happy because you make her happy, happy because she is happy, happy because she's got a strong family, she's got you in her life, and you treat her well. That's all she cares about. She'll be happy as a, she'll be happy as a little, as a little cucumber. She'll be so happy and she'll, she'll giggle and she'll she'll kiss you on your cheek. They're very they're very affectionate. Latinas, usually Mexican women, they'll walk right up to you and just kiss you right on your cheek. If you guys like that, I'm telling you guys, you guys think I'm fucking crazy. I already know it. Oh, look at this motherfucker. Guys, go experience it for yourself. Get your ass to Maz. Get your ass to Mexico. You'll be very happy you did. All right. All right, you degenerates. I appreciate everything. Thank you very much. Until next time, I'm watching you guys. I really am. Get to it.